In this video, we're going to explore a bit more with the function parameters doing some other exciting items or things that you can imagine. And one of the things would be, for example, background color. If you want to adjust background color with JavaScript, but based on the on click here. So right now we have like this, but this is probably not really exciting. We are not going to use much of these kind of alert boxes here. So what can we do? For example, we want to adjust the background color of specific items. For example, here we have the function parameters. We want to adjust the text color here. So what can we do here? So let's then explore a bit more. So for example, here now we have, this is my HTML template. And if you see my other video, we created some very basic functions here. So right now I'm going to remove this and we're going to start from scratch again here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete all of these. And we're going to start with different items here which are background colors so here on click you say change font color or background color anything you want i'll say you change background background color all right so i'm using here cattle case which is very common way so this one is small and after that every single word has a capitalized uh, letter and the reason why this is in javascript very common especially if you're going to use Vue.js, you will see that this is a way to distinguish specific words all right so we have this so basically here change background color and then here this would be the function with the parameter in here and here we're going to put in the parameter so if we would say here the text blue and maybe we want to do here background color will be blue so i put in here blue and this can be a string because it's a string value so once we have this and for example here we have this card body or card we're going to assign here now the following the moment we click on this while well, it's already triggered here it should trigger something in javascript and what we want to trigger right now is the first function and this function is called exactly the same name here as above all right so here we put in the parameter and this would be color i think that's the most suitable parameter name and then here, what the, what will it do? Well, we'll say the following here. We'll say here, card body, let's say give it an ID. Uh, not here, but here above in the card. In the card here, it says the following. In here, we want to say uh, change BG color. BG, all right, so that's simple. So we say here, I const get a document get element by id and what is our get element by id change bg all right background color all right so in here we're going to continue on so what we're going to do now is basically make sure that this function is working correctly as expected so we have here this and then we can say here oh i can you can see here i'm mistaking something you say you change pg because we need to give the constant a variable or name so then we can say here constant or basically change bg dot and we say here the following style dot so basically style indicates that we are going to adjust something through javascript but what we're going to adjust is something in the css design or the makeup which is basically the design here, the CSS here. And so we're going to add here, basically what we're doing is this. We say here style equal, and then put in here text, right? And we say here background color is capital C. And then we say equal the color we have here. So we can say equal color. And what is the color? Well, that's this one here, basically. And when we click, this will be blue. So let's double check and see if this works. Let's save this, refresh, and then click on it. And now, as you can see, it starts to change to blue. So what happened now if we have different colors? So for example, we have another one. Uh, we, what we can do here is HR, and then we can say here multiple. This will be green, and this will be green. And then we have another one as well. This will be a hex code. So we can remove this here. Now I'll just later I'll show you what we really did. So this is green, and here we can do hex code. So for example, here, one one, 
9900. I have no idea what color this is. No idea color. All right, so I'm just putting in something, but something greenish. So let's save this again and see if this is trying to show up correctly. So once you click on this, you can see this blue. If you click on that, it becomes green. And if you have no idea color, well, it's slightly greenish, as you can see here. So let's see if we can make this slightly nicer. FF. There we are. All right, so that looks very nice. So this is light blue color. And this is the way how you can play around with this. The more you know with the parameter, the more you can play around with it, doing some more stuff, of course, because what we can do here is as well, other items, change background color. So, so let me explain here what we did here. So basically this is in JavaScript, we start to add up directly the CSS in our design here of the ID change BG or background color. Basically we said style equals background color, that's the property we use, equals whatever we put in here, basically these things here. This is exactly the same what we did. The only thing what we, we did now is we did it through JavaScript. Should you do it through JavaScript? It depends. Sometimes you can, sometimes uh, should you do it always? Not always, but if you can do it with JavaScript for some reason, for example, if you're going to use Chart.js, and in Chart.js you want to create your own legend through HTML, this is one of the ways you can do it where you can extract the color of the canvas code and insert it in your HTML legend. So this is quite fun and I will make a video about that as well because that's probably something quite interesting for you if you want to learn Chart.js. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. This is quite fun video. This is a small, tiny tool where you can play around with it. And if you have any questions going to this, put them in the comment section below. If you like these kind of videos, Subscribe to my channel where you can learn more about JavaScript for beginners and we're going deeper and deeper with this that you can use in Chart.js. And one more thing, if you're interested in Chart.js, check out my Udemy course in the description box. In there, I go deep in Chart.js, exploring every item of Chart.js, which is extremely fun if you love charts.